Hello lovelies, welcome back to our channel. So this is part six of the huge thrift store haul that I got in November. Um, I am just gonna keep filming videos until I get through all of it. So I'm not sure how many parts this is gonna end up being, but I hope you guys enjoy seeing all of this stuff that I got. Um, so the thrift store had a 75% off already marked down stuff. So of course I went ahead and scooped up as much stuff as I could. So let's go ahead and dig in um, real quick though. If you guys are new here to our, our channel, thank you so much for being here. And for those of you that watch our channel and are here and are uh, enjoying our stuff, thank you so much for staying here and watching our content. It means a lot. So let's go ahead and dive in. So this one's more going to be like on a toy side. Um, so just bear with me. So I found this like really old doll blanket and it's, you know, it's, it's pretty dark. Like the, the fabric's pretty, pretty old looking. You can't really tell on the camera, but like this is all like yellowed out and so is the trim. So I'm going to give it a good washing and it's going to be a new little bed for Aurora's baby. So I'm just going to leave it right here. Uh, just show the rest of the stuff. Um, we found her this cute little doll. Um, it's like one of those like flipperoo style things. It has a tag that says what it is. Hold on. I think I have to flip her head to find it. Um, I found it somewhere on her body. Hold on. I think I had to flip or flip it into a pillow before I could find it. Yeah, there it is. So she flips into a pillow, like into like a little design and then you can flip her out and she has a body and they're called flipsy precious girls by j play from 2018 so i'll have to look this up to like figure out what exactly like how this works but apparently you can flip this on her and then you flip it out like this and there's a doll in it there's like a doll with some crazy yarn here and whatnot so she got like crazy yarn here and ribbon and then you flip this part out. Sorry, y'all. It's kind of hard to flip her in and out. <laughs> she has like a little skirt with like little ballerina shoes. So she's like a little ballerina. So I thought that was really cool. So we got that. Um, I got this. I had one of these for like, oh my goodness. Like seven years I had one of these. And my first, like, real boyfriend had given it to me. And I sleep with a stuffed animal under my neck. So I don't, like, pinch my neck. And I found him and I just couldn't resist. Because every Valentine's Day since, I've never seen him again. So when I found him, I I got him. A little nostalgic. <laughs> Not because of the boyfriend, but because I had the stuffy for so long. Um, I also got this little baby doll from my mother. From my mama because she loves little baby dolls so she's really nice she's like made out of porcelain and then she's got like the little foam body and I really like her like pigtails and hat so she's super cute I love that and then um, I wanted a guardian angel doll so we got her this little guardian angel doll to put up in her room um, I might attach some string to her she looks like she might have a straight. No, I think that's part of her outfit. Yeah, that's part of her outfit. Somebody made her. She's really pretty. Um, but I might attach a string to her and like hang her. Or just put her up on her tall shelf. But she's so cute. I love her. And she even has like a little halo in her bow. And I love this mohair, mole hair hair. Or um, it might even be um, wool hair that they put on her. It's just so cute. And she's holding like little flowers. So she's adorable, and Nora picked her out to be in her room. And then I saw this little unicorn, and it like hugs you. And Nora likes to stick stuff on the edge of her metal frame bed, so I thought this would be cute for her to to have to stick on her bed because she loves unicorns. So I got that, and then <laughs> I got this for Mickey because he loves stuffies, and it's it's a. Uh, I can't remember. It says made in Australia. So this is actually like from Australia. I can't remember what these are called. 
Um, they're only native to Australia. Um, they have a strange name. I, I, I'm sorry, y'all. I don't remember what it's called, but it's those little things. They look like little bears mixed with like a beaver. And um, they're like really docile and sweet. And people like keep them as pets in Australia. And I just thought this thing was so cute. So I got him. I got him that. And then I found this horse. It was really nice, like thick horse and it's got really nice silver hair it's a little crammed up but I can clean that up um, so I'm gonna clean this little baby up and send her with the horse journal that I junk journal that I made to uh, my niece for Christmas and I think she'll really enjoy it because she loves horses and then I found this really adorable pink gnome so I'm going to clean this one up and this is going to be another one that's going to go in Aurora's room with her guardian angel because she loves gnomey homies. So I'm really excited about the gnome. And he's like heavy on the bottom so he's like a weight. Like he has some weight to him. So, um, And then my mom found this doll and she has like some really old school stuff in her hair and she looks really old school but I don't think she is. She's like... Ugh where you can like flex her legs and stuff. She got some sparkles on her and she has like little belly shoes. I was gonna open the back of this. Apparently you can take this little skirt off and you can see she has like a cute little suit on. I was gonna see if she has any markings because like usually on the back side, they it has a date of when they were created. For some reason her hands are super dark, like her arm. Look at her arms. They're really dark compared to her body. So I'm not sure where she was sitting before, but let's see. It says 1984. So she is a 1984 doll. Wow. I might just keep her. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, Aurora got her because she liked the way she looked. So we found a 1984 doll. <laughs> That's wild. Okay, I'll fidget with her clothes later. I'll put her clothes back on later. I don't want this video to just be me putting the clothes on. <laughs> um, Aurora found this, and I thought it was cute because of the glasses. So the bear wears glasses. I think what I'm going to do is just like hot. Oh, no, it has a loop it goes through. Okay. Hold on, let's see. Let's see if I can get it through the little loop. Okay, I'll do that later. I didn't realize it. Yeah, it has a little loop for them to go through. But I just thought it was so cute, like, with its little hat. Its little hat and the little glasses. And it's a keychain. So, I thought it was cute. I'm going to click it on my purse, because why not? <laughs> and then, what else is in here? Oh, yeah, these dolls. So, these were handmade. I got them for $2.75 percent off. But look at how just adorable and delicate these little things are. They're so cute. I love this. And there's this one. She's like a little dainty girl. And then this one right here. She's like a little like a little Indian girl and she has like a necklace. I thought these were so awesome. And they made them out of clothes pins. So I thought that was so cool. So I really love these. Definitely gonna display them somewhere in my craft room. Because, like, that is so cool to make that out of clothespins. <laughs> so, um, yep. Oh, ow, ow, ow. We got more stuffies. So, I found a buffalo. So, of course, this is going to be for Mickey. And little buffalo baby. And it's a Aurora doll. So cute. I love these. They're super soft. And they, actually, the stitching lasts a long time. Aurora got Mickey this. It has a voice box, but I took it out. Because you can actually remove it, which I was super happy about. And so, I'm going to... Of course, I'm going to wash all these stuffies before I give them to the kids. And then we got, oh, wait, I got this, y'all. So this is a cut and sew pattern for 18-inch dolls. And I was like, you know what? I could actually trace this design, like this whole thing on uh, paper and or even scan it into the computer and print it and make, um, make, more than just this outfit out of it so I think that's super cool it's like made out of fabric and I'm like wow this is awesome so I'm going to teach her how to sew with this too because um 
I think she would be really good at this and I want to teach her how to sew and I have a sewing machine. So that I think was a really good buy. And then we found these little crazy doll wigs. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do with these. It'd be fun to make like a crochet doll and then just stick the hair onto the crochet doll. I think so I don't know what they went on they look like they were their wigs that pop onto like a regular doll um I might look it up and see um here's some more little handmade dolls so we have like a little boy and a little girl which are, I'm not sure I think these were are Melissa and Doug honestly I think I saw somewhere that they were Melissa and Doug so um, and then another little boy. They're just too cute. They were too cute to pass up. So I got those. And then, sorry y'all, I have the bag. I'm like holding the bag up so I can get the rest of the stuff out. So then, here's another one of those little wigs. So I'm not sure what we're going to do with these, but they were too cute to pass up. So I was like, whatever. They were like 10 cents. And then I have a little bench. There's like a little desk that goes with this that the kids took and they're playing with because toys. So, um, the, but this is the little stool for it. And then I, I found this and it's actually for baby. So, um, it's, um, I'm not sure what it is, but I think you like, you put stuff in it and then you can clip it on the little pretend diaper bag. And then it holds like little stuff. So it has like extra pockets and stuff. I thought it was really cool for like baby stuff. Which we're starting to get into. So. Which is silly. Because usually about the, this time they get into Barbies. And she's actually getting into babies instead. So I found this randomly sitting in the toy section. And I thought it was so cool. So there's like a little bracelet. And then these really cool like paper earrings. But I thought these would be really cool to like put on the front of tassels or something instead of wearing them. So I'm definitely going to repurpose this jewelry. But they came in pink and blue. And then there's like this little cup of random jewelry pieces. So there's like, these are all old school. Like these little swirls. And then there's, it goes to this big piece right here. So I just realized that. I guess it was like this, like that. I'm not sure. It actually looks like it might have been on this side. So I guess it was like a bracelet or something, but of course it's in pieces. And then there's this right here with these really cute beads. So I thought that was cool. And then there's just like random little earrings in here. There's like a flower. So like this one here, these, I can just cut the post off the back and I can use these for whatever. So, um, definitely wouldn't be wearing these, um, because one, they're old and two, you don't want to get ear infections. So just be careful buying thrift store jewelry and wearing it. Make sure you clean it properly first because you do not want to mess up your ears or anything oh the pink ones fit but the blue ones don't okay so that was everything that was in that bag hope you guys enjoyed seeing everything for this um specific uh haul part <laughs> but yeah so i'm gonna wash all the stuffies and everything but i'm excited to get all this taken care of and i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day and i will see you guys in the next video bye